When a mosquito bites a person, they sometimes don't notice until they start to itch. There's no such subtlety in the bite of the horsefly. Her mouth parts are rather like a Swiss army knife, and she seems to use all the parts at once to get to the blood meal she needs. Like the male mosquito, the male horsefly doesn't have biting mouth parts and is pleased to sip nectar and other plant liquids. Though the horsefly, like the mosquito, is one of those insect pests ripe for extermination, the extermination of such an abundant and tenacious species does not seem feasible at the moment. The horsefly's bite is not only painful but can spread diseases such as anthrax. A horsefly larva has a siphon at the end of its body that allows it to breathe air if it lives in water. The horsefly larva also bites hard. Horseflies only bite during the day and especially on days that are calm and sunny. The horsefly is the fastest flying insect, and the fastest horsefly on record was clocked at 90 miles per hour. Horseflies are what are called true flies. That means they only have one pair of wings and have balancing haltiers right behind the base of their wings. Haltiers are a reason that horseflies can be rather acrobatic in flight. Horseflies are big and have huge compound eyes that can be brightly colored or show iridescence when viewed in certain light. Males can be told from females in that their eyes nearly touch while the eyes of females are separated. The end of their antenna is ringed and hairless. There are hairs on the fly's head and its thorax, which is the middle part of its body, and the wings are clear or either a cloudy gray or brown. Their legs have claws that let them hold on to their prey. Different species can be told apart through small differences in their heads, the pattern of veins in their wings, and color patterns on their bodies. The mouth parts of the females are made up of a pair of mandibles and a pair of maxillae that have serrated cutting stylets that rip open skin and break the blood vessels beneath it. The sponge-like tongue then laps up the blood, which has been injected with an anticoagulant so it won't clot. Horsefly babies or maggots, are long and tapered at the head end, and the head can be retracted. The body has bands of bristles and 12 segments with tubercles. They are from 10 to 30 millimeters long and found in wet or moist places. They go through 6 to 13 larval stages, and if they hatched late in the season, they can overwinter and pupate the next spring. The pupa is also 10 to 30 millimeters long and is brown and shiny. Eventually, the outline of the adult fly can be seen through its casing. Both horseflies and deerflies belong to the Tabanidae family, and they both bite humans. Indeed, deerflies are more likely to bite humans than horseflies. But there are some interesting differences between them. Horseflies are much bigger than deerflies. Horseflies range between a half an inch to an inch and a quarter in length while deerflies are between a quarter and a third of an inch in length. The antennae of the horsefly are shorter than its head and have thick bases. The antennae of the deerfly are long and slender. The wings of the horsefly are transparent or cloudy, while the deerfly's wings are clear but have dark patches or bands. Deerflies only bite animals that are moving while horseflies will bite whether the animal is moving or not. A person can also hear a deerfly coming, while the horsefly is sometimes much stealthier. Most horseflies don't fly very far away from where they were born, though some can fly over 40 miles away. When they rest they can be found in the middle of the road, on a path, or in low-hanging foliage. Since the insects are diurnal, they don't bite at night, and they bite less on cloudy, cool, and windy days. They are attracted to lights such as porch lights and can sometimes gather in groups to fly around them. One good thing about horseflies is that they don't enter houses, barns or other buildings to get a meal. Most horseflies aim for the prey's legs, ankles, or the backs of their knees, though deerflies prefer the nape of the neck, the head, 
and the shoulders. Some scientists believe that the fine stripes on a zebra's lower legs evolved to confuse horseflies. Horseflies are found in most habitats around the world save those that have extremes of temperature or habitats that are dry. It does need to lay its eggs near bodies of water or in environments that are moist, and it needs a habitat that has enough animals to provide protein for the female. When the female isn't lapping blood, she and the male drink nectar and other plant juices. There are some horseflies that are actually useful as pollinators. But for the female to reproduce, she needs a blood meal. The female horsefly is much like a female mosquito in her search for prey. She is drawn by dark fur or clothes, the carbon dioxide the prey exhales, and the temperature and texture of their body. Most horseflies choose large mammals, but they are not above preying on rodents, other small mammals, and even cold-blooded animals such as lizards. They will even take a meal from a recently dead animal. When the horsefly has picked out potential prey, she will pursue them unremittingly. If she's swatted away, she will at least try to return so she can get a full meal. If she's deterred, she'll go from prey to prey, and this is how she can spread diseases. Horseflies often work alone, but others attack in groups. An invasion of horseflies is especially dangerous. Horsefly maggots are also aggressive predators. They are found in wet soil and bodies of fresh and salt water, and they eat other insect larvae and tadpoles. If they are small enough, they will eat frogs and toads. Not only this, but the larvae seem to be venomous, as prey is subdued after it's bitten.